Hi, welcome to our database encryption demonstration video. All databases have a massive security vulnerability in that they store data as plain text. This data can be easily extracted from the database totally undetected. We will demonstrate this to you in this video. The only way to effectively secure sensitive data in a database is to encrypt the database. For this demo, we will be using an Oracle database. We have a schema called VIP, which owns a table called demo underscore person. The table contains typical personally identifiable information. Tables are a logical representation of data that is stored in a physical file somewhere on disk. We can find out where this data is stored by querying the database dictionary. We determine the name of the physical file where the table demo underscore person resides in. We copy the file name. Using the root user at the operating system level, we can view the content of this database file. Using the simple strings function, we see that the data in the file is stored as clear text. The strings function is available on all versions of Unix, Linux and Windows operating systems. If we copy the displayed text, we can compare it to our database query. We can see that it is a direct match to the query even though we extracted this data directly from the file itself. Additionally, we extracted this data completely undetected as we bypass all database security. We would be able to systematically extract all the data from the database using this simple operation. We can get this data without even going into the database or requiring a database password. Logging in as the apps user, we can also see the data as clear text when doing the strings command. Obviously, the Oracle user, who actually owns the database, is also able to view the files. This means that your database administrator can view any sensitive data without detection. We can go into the database and query our demo underscore person table again. The same information has just been viewed from outside the database as well as from inside the database. This is a massive security vulnerability in all databases. Again, let us get the file name where the table demo underscore person resides in order to show you something even more frightening. We shut down the database. Even with the database shut down, we can still view the data. This means that backups and any copies of the database can also be viewed. We will now encrypt the database in order to secure its contents. Policies need to be defined in the encryption manager. Firstly, we allow the database processes to read and decrypt the data files. Next, we specify that the root user can read the files but not decrypt the data. Similarly to root, we also allow the Oracle user to read the files but not decrypt the data. Everyone else will be denied access completely. We will proceed to encrypt the database and test our policies. The database files have now been encrypted so we can restart the database. 
We connect as the VIP user. We query our demo underscore person table. The database is working as expected. We again grab our file name where the demo underscore person table resides. We exit to the operating system and try and view the file as we did before. The file has been encrypted and is totally illegible. We can check what the apps user is able to do. The apps user has been denied all access to the file. Even root user has been prevented from decrypting the file. The file will remain encrypted no matter what, even if the root user tries to copy it to another location. From this, we can see that the encryption policies supersede root user capabilities as well as operating system level privileges and permissions. And with that, we end our database encryption demonstration. For more information on Encryptex database encryption solutions, please contact us via the details displayed.